Hey guys, welcome to Herding Little Cows. Thank you for joining us tonight. We are starting a new series on hospitality. I know it's something that when I first became a Christian, I understood a little bit about it because my parents always had their home open and I will explain more of that in another video. But it's something that I don't see in the church as a whole being um, done between people in a lot of the churches. But I have a lot of really good examples of people who have shown hospitality to us when we were traveling around the country and living in different places that I want to be able to share with you. So first, just a word of encouragement from the Bible in Romans 12, um, 9 through 13. Let love be genuine. Abhor what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with brotherly affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not be slothful in zeal. Be fervent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation. Be constant in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints and seek to show hospitality. There are many places in the Bible that talk about hospitality, um, especially in the New Testament, where it is giving different commands in different books. Um, First Timothy, Titus. Um, there's lots of different places that talk about um, hospitality and how, as Christians, we are supposed to be doing that, um, particularly for other saints among us. And we can do it for people outside, as we're supposed to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. Um, and we also are supposed to love our enemies. So there are many different ways we can show hospitality to people, but the Bible teaches us that we are to be doing that for other people. Um, I would like people to share examples. Um, of when they've been shown hospitality. If you're watching this video, share it in the comments or on our Facebook or Twitter. Um, but I want to just show that hospitality can be done in all different circumstances. We have had everything from people in a very small space in someone's camper um, to eating extravagant meals with lots of different courses to just being shown hospitality by meeting at a park and, you know, here's a bag of chips and some um, Capri Suns that I bought. Here, let's share them. Um, there's lots of different ways to do it. But I think that as a culture, we are very self-sufficient and we don't share with other people when we have a need, such as uh, illness in the family or a new baby being born. And we don't accept help from people who are able to help because being able to take a meal um, to somebody else is also showing hospitality to them. Um, we also are afraid of opening our homes up to people. As Christians, we are supposed to be in each other's lives. We're supposed to be holding each other accountable. Um, and we're supposed to be an encouragement to each other. So there are a lot of um, Christians who don't want people to get that close. And it could be for a variety of reasons. It could be because um, of something that you're ashamed of in your life that's really um, a pride issue that you need to pray and ask God to forgive you for that. It could be thinking that you don't have enough to share. But um, as I'll show you when we talk about some of these examples, um, God provides you enough to be able to share with people and he always blesses you in that. Um, it could be that you're afraid of how people... Um, are going to think about the things that you serve them. Um, again, that's a pride issue. Afraid of what your house looks like or how your kids behave. Um, and I want to walk through each of those steps as we go through these um, hospitality things. But you don't have to do anything extravagant. It's showing somebody love through the things that God has blessed you with and showing them honor in the one in the verse I was reading to you, it talks about outdoing each other, uh, outdoing um, one another with, I'm going to look it up and I'm sorry that it's taking a moment, but it's okay. This is real life. Outdo one another in showing honor. Um, just putting other people before yourself. I could have this steak dinner for myself or I could spread it and share with others. Um, I just hope that this is an encouragement for you to reach out and love those around you. Um, I hope you come back for the next in the series where we will talk more about how we can do this in our different settings and people who have been an example to us. 